Hello everyone and welcome to a Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to farm copper. And uh, just to start, we currently don't have... Let's actually get rid of my junk. I don't have any junk on me, do I? Okay. And my... Uh, if we go under miscellaneous here, I don't currently have any ore on me. So we will be farming... A few aluminum. Uh, we will be farming... Uh, copper, but we'll also pick up aluminum, lead, and steel as we come across it during this run. We're going to start over here at Hornwright Testing Site number 3, and we're going to want to get out our, our excavator power armor for this. Now, I've made a handy-dandy graphic here. Uh, this here is uh, our route that we're going to take. So starting at Hornwright Testing Site number 3, we're going to be picking up uh, these nodes and following all the way around here. So I've color-coded these uh, uh, here, so blue is iron, uh, orange is copper, green is lead, and uh, magenta is aluminum. And we have the total quantities of the number of veins we're going to hit. So this is the uh, estimated value per vein, based off of 2.5 loots per vein, um, and factoring in the value of acid. Now these values are based off of calculations that I do for how these actually sell not their described value uh on the tooltip of the item so this is realistically the the uh the value from them so as we see aluminum is the most valuable uh at 68 caps uh, per vein net copper 59 and lead 48 i did not calculate super duper in this so these values will be the same if you don't have super duper, but they'll be higher if you do. So just consider that gravy. Uh, this total run should take about half an hour. So uh, we're going to go over to Hornwright testing site number three, put on our armor and not get distracted by the events that are up. All right, here we go. I will preface now. You might occasionally hear me sipping coffee. Um, it's the lifeblood of mankind and you will not pry it out of my cold dead hands you will only pry it out of my cold dead hands is that a better analogy whatever you will have to pry it from my cold dead hands that's probably better okay excavator power armor we use this because excavator power armor, the a matching pair of arms gives us four times the mining yield. So it'll make every one of these veins four times more productive. So initially here, this is the first place here where we have the steel. There's going to be 11 veins here. Now the ones closest to the ground are very hard to loot. So sometimes they, uh, you have a hard time interacting with them. That's not really a big deal. If you come up here, we're going to find more of them. All right. So, because there's so many veins here, just take a look around the cliff face, because sometimes from different angles it'll show you uh, ones that you didn't see initially. So yeah, two more down here. Again, these ones near the bottom are, are sometimes hard to click on. So don't worry about them too much. So our next spot is lead. Uh, where are we here? So lead over here. I showed this in my lead video. Um, it's a very successful video for me. But we have the lead here. This is one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes some of these can only be accessed from the side again. All right, so our next is going to be copper, or sorry, aluminum over here. There's going to be four units at the end of this road. So we'll mark it over here. Uh, 
I should probably equip a weapon, but I just uh, tuned that guy up barehanded. Nice. So there's the aluminum. Should be four here. Yeah, there we go. Next spot is... Stop hitting M. Next spot is uh, seven copper along a uh, cliff over here. Or along a berm. So this is the first one far over here. And the rest of them are over here. Come on. And there was one iron over here. I didn't put the iron on the map. Again, I didn't put a lot of onesies and twosies on here. It's just uh, um, mostly bigger locations. So we'll, we will run into other ores. Just consider that a bonus. So this is iron. Boo. Definitely. Do you know how we got here? Why did you ask that? Do you know if you were born or made? Sure. What is this philosophy section with the robots? Okay, so the next section here is seven steel along here. Nobody knows how to spell Appalachia. Here we go. So when I was talking about loots before, the first time you click on a vein that doesn't um, exhaust it, so I clicked on it once, twice. In my experience, again, uh, 2.5 times seems to be a pretty good average for this. I don't have any data for that. That's just like I haven't uh, done a study of a thousand veins, but I have looted a lot of veins, and uh, that to me seems like a a pretty good number. It might be a little bit on the conservative side, but for estimating time values, I'd rather be more conservative than more liberal. Okay, so we're at aluminum here. How many aluminum is here? It's nine, right? It's a very, very lucrative aluminum, aluminum spot. The rest of it's up top here. Okay, that's it for the aluminum there. Uh, we're gonna swing across over here. And if you happen to look robots along the way again they're don't just dis dismiss the aluminum on them it's it's decently valuable okay uh next up was copper which was see this uh high point of the forest here it's just right above it so 
So we're just going to mark a point about there. Try 10 minutes. We're doing pretty good so far. 10 minutes for the total video length. Okay, so our next spot is uh, steel again. Sort of just up over here. It's sort of in the middle of nowhere. It's hard to reference. Sorry. So it was just sort of up and over here. Because there's no landmarks, this one's probably one of the hardest ones to find. Again, if you don't feel this crafting the steel is worth it for you, or you don't need it for any reason, just skip the steel parts. Again, they are technically... Refining steel in this method is technically a loss, but we will get over a thousand steel from doing this. So, the steel here is scattered amongst this cliff. Face. What time is it? All right, you can't. So if you're in, uh, if you're not in power armor, you can check the time in game because when you lift your pit boy up, there's a in-game time. I want to make sure I'm still doing this during the day because um, lead is harder to find at night. And it, the light started to get darker, and I don't know if that's shifting weather or night rolling in. Okay, that's it for that one. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Next one is copper, which is just over here, not too far away. So the copper was basically added. Copper sits inside like a little nook. Where are we here? Yeah, here here we go. Just down from this this steel. We have these copper veins here. Okay, so our next one here is just down from here and over from here so the edge of the mountain in the bottom of the road we'll find a spot here so down from the mountain and about in line with the bottom of the road sure let's start there if you farm vodka like i do when you're in this area here grab all of the uh glowing sap you can we passed by quite a few places. We don't need to uh, worry ourselves with the Scorch Beast. I think it's, yeah, it's right over here. It's close. So this cliff face here has a number of copper pieces. And then the next section is just over here. No, down on the next section, it's literally just by a rock. It's hard to find sometimes. 
You can see... Yeah, here we go. You can see the other copper section straight from here. But it's, uh, yeah. Tucked away by a rock, but there's another five veins here. Bringing this section here to ten copper veins, um, this is one of the sort of the most valuable sections. And if you really wanted to, like, you can build a camp here. This is a very nice location for a camp because uh, you're nearby two great copper resources. So every vein, because we get 2.5 loots, you get about 10 ore per vein. And uh, 10 ore is an hour of running an extractor. 10 ore is an hour of running an extractor. Uh, so our next vein is just across the street here. There is some copper over here. So then we can go up here. There's going to be a lot more types of uh, minerals. This mountain here. There's sort of this mound here. There's quite a lot of minerals on it. Um, but again, we're only going to go for the ones that's actually worth refining. Silver, gold, uranium, black titanium. Uh, they just don't have a good return. We will go kill that Grafton monster. Because for some reason there's a Grafton monster here. Grafton monsters are great. They drop both oil and acid. Uh, very valuable creatures to kill. Good junk in that. We'll grab up this aluminum here. This isn't done here because it's only a little too fur of aluminum. Uh, what's our next uh, hit? So we did the... Did we do that copper already? Yeah, we looted that copper up here. There was two sections, one with three and one with four veins. Yeah, we did that. So that was the three and then the four over here. Uh, next section is uh, the Welsh cut. So uh, near a camp that I'm, I'm making for good reasons. So there's a road cut by Welsh that has uh, aluminum and copper veins. And we're just gonna grab some more aluminum. Again, you'll find a lot of a lot of mineral nodes scattered throughout here, um, like silver. We're not going to refine that silver. So grab what you can if you want it. This is all freebie. I didn't put any of this. There is gold here as well. I didn't put any of this on the map because, again, the other minerals aren't worth farming. And uh, hunting down one vein or two veins is sometimes doesn't feel like a productive use of time. So, and before I consolidated this into a map, I would used to just basically uh, walk a circle around this, uh, walk a circle around this mountain and loot everything up. Now it's a little bit more consolidated. So there's a glowing section here by Welsh. Well, Welsh train yard, there's a glowing section on the road here. And there's typically what we uh, what is called an assault encounter, where two opposing factions will spawn and attack each other. It's a great place to fight legendaries. Let's grab their weapons. Where does corpse go? So this is one group's location, and the other group's location is um, down here. So while the raiders, even though raiders are an ally, and sometimes you'll get uh, settlers here as well, check the raiders because it's often that I'll find a legendary ally here. And uh, you can choose then if you wish to kill them or not. So 
So, okay, we're at the road cut now. And this is uh, very good. It has... Uh, We'll, we'll go up and get this lead and steel in a sec, but this has four aluminum and six copper. So that's four aluminum here. And over here it has six copper. Okay. There's also coal here, but it's coal. Let's grab it. I'll show you what coal refines too. Uh, and then over here. So just past the cut, there's a wrecked car here. And there's an outcropping with one lead. There should be two lead by it. Yeah, the other one's sitting right at my toes. No, that's iron. Okay, whatever. There's some, yeah, just the lead out there is worth grabbing because we're gonna come over here and grab these paint cans. Paint cans have paint cans have five refined lead in it, so uh, don't scoff at them. Grab them anytime you can. So if we're here farming metals, we might as well grab that. So we're gonna uh, go all the way back here to uh, that is abandoned mine shaft one. There's gonna be copper on a leading edge of a cliff here. So you can either walk there, um, or you can fast travel. We're going to walk there this time. That's the aluminum, so the copper is further down. So the aluminum is the next step. Here we go. Copper. How many was here again? We have six copper veins. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next is the aluminum up here that we passed. There should be four here. No. So I am grabbing the weapons because almost at all times I keep a burn called scrapper equipped. It gives great value out of scrapping um, weapons and armor. So this location always has a fusion core in it. So grab that if you need to keep your uh, excavator topped up, especially for people who don't use power armor. Um, if you're only using it for this run or your lucky hole mine run, there's another fusion core generator there as well. So you don't really have to farm fusion cores. Just put it away in your inventory with one when you're done and you'll have it when you need it. Uh, we're just going to do a little intermittent scrapping so we don't get overweight. So again, here we're getting molded plastic. You never get really good junk from scrapping weapons, but you get a lot of steel specifically. So great way to farm steel without any investment of, um, uh, without any uh, investment of uh, acid. Come on. And if we're farming metals, we might as well use the opportunity. Things froze there for a sec. Let's just go back to it. So steel, steel, steel. We won't run into any more baddies, I don't think. So that lightens us up a little bit and we can continue on our journey. So if you don't have a crazy amount of carrier weight like I do, use the, uh, um, use the uh, workbenches and stuff to lighten yourself up. Okay, so we have aluminum. Okay, this aluminum I can't loot. Oh no, it's, sorry, it's just lagging right now. This one at the bottom is also problematic. If 
for looting. Let's come over here and loot some more. Well, the server decides to catch up. Okay, we'll move on from these. Let's see if this clears up by the time we get to the next, uh, the next aluminum vein, which is just up here. Why did I do that? So I was hoping to do this all in daytime because the next lead ores are very hard to find at night. But we'll see what we can do. So for aluminum, and it, the lead is just over this hill. So for at the aluminum, turn your back to it. And so the next, uh, the next vein is next to a power line. There's two power lines here. This, there's a hill in front of this one to the right. So you can make a beeline here. There's a hill and the lead is right here. It's very tricky to see because if you notice the color of the ground and the color of the lead is so similar, it's very hard to miss that, or it's very easy to miss that, especially at night. So there's four lead there. So our next route is or our next uh waypoint is six copper just sort of straight down from here a little offset there-ish it's on the cliff face i don't remember see how this cliff is tiered here i don't know it's either on the upper one or the lower one I think, yeah it's on the upper one here Okay, so next uh, is gonna be more lead, closer to the road. Just next to this contour line. It's perfect time for coffee. Okay, so we have our lead here. We're making quite good time on our run here. 30 minutes is a pretty common time for this. I wanted to make sure I actually saw the stuff. I knew it was here, patch 28, it was lootable. So, Again, I sort of went out and re-explored and redefined all of these historic places that I've used for this. So this next point is right below the intersection here, roughly there-ish. This one here is kind of a mound of stuff. Yeah, you can see, see this mound here? There's five copper veins scattered amongst it. They're not together. So you can see the first one here. Second one over here. Third. I'm tempted to do breach and clear along with this. The, the best part about this is um, this goes by two of the three locations where breach and clear can happen. So if you want to, I won't do it now, but do breach and clear as well because you're going to be getting a lot of good minerals. And there's the fifth one. If I wasn't recording a video, I'd be doing breach and clear and just adding up to this total right now. But we'll go back. We're doing a video. We'll go back. We'll do some calculations. So that's it. Again, we've cleared everything here. Again, we probably spent, by the time I started the video, when we started actually farming, we probably spent a total of uh, 26 minutes doing that. Now, to extract the full value out of this, you're going to need to get acid. That's that's the tricky part about this, is having enough acid to refine all this. 
And I make acid my top priority for junk. I make sure I'm looking for it most frequently. I don't really go on farming runs for it, but if anything I know contains acid, I will pick it up. I'll, I'll walk a minute to pick up more acid stuff. Just to always keep myself topped up so I can use it when I'm doing runs. Hey, there's another person here. Okay, we're going to switch over and hook up the perk super duper. And that's going to give us an extra 33%. Again, my va my calcula value calculations per vein do not include super duper. So all of this is just gravy. So let's do the big reveal. Um, copper, we got 528. Lead, we got 204. Aluminum, we got 272. And steel, iron iron ore we got 392 so we did get also some coal and some other stuff so let's scrap all of our junk as well okay so we're gonna go over here to the chemistry actually let's get rid of our junk first so this is all the additional junk we got from killing mole miners and the such so 11 aluminum scrap right off the hop isn't too bad so let's go over here to the chemistry station and we're going to do some smelting. So different minerals require require a different amount of uh, ore. So this, this one here will give me two aluminum scrap for three aluminum ore. So it's, it's uh, not very productive, but again, we don't pay anything for the ore. So this is all free. We're going to lose two acid in the process. But again, this is still valuable and worthwhile coal um again the reason why we don't do coal is you have to use five coal and five acid so five acid alone is crazy it's almost 20 caps worth of acid for two coal um so don't refine that same thing silver we're gonna use four acid to produce two silver it's nuts you, you'll never get any kind of value out of it so we'll do the steel first we're gonna do 196 crafts of that Lead's next at 102 crafts. Copper at 176. And aluminum at 90. So if we go over here, we have 242 aluminum, uh, 687 copper, and 635 lead, and 1,330 steel. Uh, so we still have some uh, minerals left over. You can either keep those in your bag or drop them. Whatever works for you. I see there's still a bit of lag. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's a ton of stuff. Um, I sell copper and aluminum for about 75 caps a piece. I sell lead for about 50 to 55 caps uh, a piece. And I sell steel for... Uh, a about half of its value. What does that work out to be? I think about 20 caps uh, for a bulk. So that's for a bulk for each one of these. So here there's probably over 6,000 caps worth of, of metals. So if you like making energy weapons, especially you use a lot of copper and everybody can use more lead because, you know, lead is lead. It's good stuff. So that's it for this video here. If you've liked this, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post it below. And I, th I think I'm going to... Can I photo mode with my Pip-Boy open? I'm thinking of uh, making that the uh, thumbnail there. Whether or not that'll work out. Print screen. Anyways, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next video.